so hello everyone welcome back on another video on DSP processor in this video we are going to learn about how can we configure CPU 1 and CPU 2 for the dual core processor and we will learn how can we build and debug our projects for CPU 1 and CPU 2 so if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe my channel so now starting with the project we have to create two projects one for CPU 1 and another for CPU 2 so to create a projects we have to follow the steps which we which we have shown in the previous video now once we have complete the projects we have included all the files common files header files drivers and driver libraries we have to go to main and in the main we have to write our program so here two things always we need to cons we need here two things we have to remember that whatever pins we are configuring for the cpu1 or we are configuring for the cpu2 we have to assign in the cpu1 for example we want to use some of the gpio pin for the cpu2 so we have to give the ownership for that pin in the cpu1 we have to tell that in the main program that particular pin has been configured with the cpu2 so likewise here we are writing the program for toggling the led one led from the cpu1 and another led for from the cpu2 so before going into the uh, project what important settings we have to do just go to the properties right click on this projects and go to the properties and in the properties you have to include all the files uh, common files driver libraries drivers and include which we have shown in the previous video now what things we have to made here in the predefined symbols we have we are using the cpu1 underscore test project for the cpu1 and so we have considered here cpu1 and debug flash dual headers and f28379 t launch excel because we are using the launch pad here okay so after that we have to apply and close it similarly we can copy this project and after copying these projects this will be coming here so when we are copying this complete projects here you can see the flash link underscore cpu dot cmd so this command we have to replace with flash link underscore cpu two dot cmd okay so the remaining things uh, will be remaining the same remaining same now what we have to do we have to go to the properties and in the properties in the predefined samples we have to use instead of cpu1 we have to configure as a cpu2 and all the files will be remaining the same so we can apply and close this projects now what we have to do we just go to the main of cpu one underscore test and here we just configure the cpi gpio pins to configure the gpio pins we are using the driver libraries so here the device gpio pin uh, underscore led1 is configured as a output mode because we are using that pin for the output purpose and uh, the pin type is the standard and that pin uh, for this pin we are selecting the core as a cpu1 okay so similarly for and this pin is connected to the 31 uh, number of pin the board so now for this uh, led2 is connected with the 34 uh, gpio pins so that for the led2 we are configuring uh, the core as a cpu2 
Okay, so once this is done, uh, we are toggling the uh, GPIO pins. So we are writing that pin to 1 and we are providing the delay and after that we are writing to that pin at 0 and again we are providing the delay. So this is the LED toggling uh, after uh, uh, this uh, time period. So now what we will do, we will uh, write the same code for the uh, CPU to just click on the main file and you can see here the same GPL configuration uh, we have made here. It is not compulsory that you have to make the same GPL configuration in the GPU uh, in the CPU2 program also because we have already configured this in the CPU1 program. So here what we are doing we are writing the GPIO pin toggling, uh, GPIO LED2 toggling uh, and here we have made the LED2 as that is connected with the configured with the CPU2. So now what we will do we will just uh, build this project so it is building it will take few seconds of time to build the project okay so this build has been finished now what we'll do we'll just debug it after debug this kind of window will be appearing because this CPU1 underscore test, we are running on the CPU1. So you have to click on this CPU1 only and hit on OK. It might take some time, uh, it depends on your system. Now what we have to do is just click on this another project and we will build it. So build has been finished. Now what we will do, we will debug it and now we are running the second project on the core 2. So we have to click on this one and hit OK. Now you, it will ask like you are required to terminate existing debug session to perform the transactions. Yeah, we want to terminate it. Now, both the project has been debugged successfully. So now it, this kind of window will be opening here. So here once you are running the core 2, the core 1 will be uh, disappearing. So you can't run this. So what we have to do, we have to flash it again. So how can we do? Here you can see there is a load button is there. Just load the program here. Browse your projects. CPU1 debug and this dot output file will be generated. So make it OK. So it will load the program again to your board. So now what you, do, you can do, we have already loaded the program to this one. So you can make a CPU reset and restart. So now we will run the program and you can see. Uh, the LED blinking on the screen. You can see there is two LEDs. Uh, are there are three LEDs out of two LEDs are controlled with the your CPU one and the CPU two. Once I click on this, you can see the LED start blinking, right? And the other LED is st still not 
started so when i clicking on this cpu to you can see both the led are started once i stop it suspend the program you can see the another led has been stopped and uh, now what we will do i'll just stop it also and i'll just run it again you can see i just start it and suspend the program okay so like this you can uh, build your project for uh, cpu1 and a cpu2 and you can configure your uh, core and your gpi open for uh, the difference uh, for both the cpus so if you have any queries uh, regarding the cpu1 and cpu2 and you want me uh, to make another video on uh, the cpu1 and cpu2 and how can we configure and how, how can we connect both the cpus you can comment me in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much